Hi everyone, this is Val with another journal that I have completed recently. Again, this one is 9 by 6 inches, which is 230 by 150 millimetres. It is three signatures and has 102 pages. It's not as chunky as some of the others that I've done. I've edged some of the pages with the blue and white lace. It's all kind of like soft blue and and white and very pretty and it's tied with white seam binding. I have a little scrappy on the bottom here and I'll attach to that with a bold pin. It's a little um, dangle with beads and little silver flowers and there's a feather on there as well and it's called rain. Um, I didn't use a kit or anything for this. It's not themed by subject, it's by colour. It's uh, blue, obviously. So let's have a quick flip through and see what we've got. So I've made some pockets in the front cover. So I've got a scrappy notebook in there, which looks better that side actually. And um, the book belongs to, and a little tag here with a little heart um, charm attached with um, some embroidery thread. So there's a variety of papers from various spots where, you know, I just print them all up and then they don't go into a journal and I have paper, I'm drowning in paper. So I just decided to turn as much of it as I could into, into journals. And so that's why I've got some blue and I've got some pink and there's some others coming as well. So, um, yeah, just try and use some of it up. So this is one of the, the pockets that I make with um, the bingo backing pages and um, I've just put on the three pockets which were filled with those various bits and pieces and there's a tuck spot behind it, behind that as well. So some pretty papers here with uh, butterflies and so forth. That's just like a coin envelope type of one with the tuck there as well as the, the coin envelope and a little brown envelope at the back. It's got nothing in it at the moment. But there is an envelope with some extras in it later, so I might have got a bit confused there. But anyway, it looks alright with the colour thing there, so I'll leave it there and I might put something off the, of what's in the envelope into that one. So here we go. What I've done here is I have got a, a cutout here. So the cutout kind of, you can see a glimpse. I don't think I had that there before. I think it'll look better with just the blue behind it. I might move that. We'll see. I think it just looks better just like, oh, sorry, I think it looks better just like that with the blue, looking through the window. And when you come back that way, you can just see a little bit of that other one. So I think I'll move that further down the, into the journal. That's got to go through, of course, with it. So, and here's a little envelope, I believe. No, not quite sure what I did here. Sorry about that. It's a while since I made this one. It's kind of like a book page clip, made with book page anyway, I can see the printing underneath and it's just a little flip with some pretties on it. And as you can see there are all kinds of different collections, there's no real theme to it. There's quite a few of this kind of thing in it, and I might put that in there because I've got nothing in that side there, and then at this side there's that one there as well. So again that's the other side of that um, book page. Here I've just made a bit of a side tuck with the excess of that fold and I've just put on a little image out of Daphne's diary there and just a couple of things in the, in the pocket. And the other side is one of the window face envelopes, uh, sorry, the, yeah, the window face envelopes that I turn into a pocket. And I like to have something pretty in the window and then quite often there's another tuck spot there as well as something behind. Oops, upside down. So yeah, and we've got a few pages in this one also that are from um, Kate Greenaway's Book of Flowers, Language of Flowers, I believe it's called. So some of them are really pretty papers, but they just they were just uh, generic ones that I've printed up over a period of time. And I actually think that this might look good there. I don't have a card for the back of it now, but I still think that will look all right. And so that's just a little, oh, actually I do, I've got one this side, so that's look like a little altered paper clip but with uh, a fabric um, finish, not paper. And it's a tuck spot. And I'll put something the other side as well. And that's another altered paper clip, a different kind, and now they're too close together. But anyway, 
we'll leave it as that for the moment. So that's a different style of um, old paper clip. And just a little, a little, I believe that will be a tuck as well. So two levels there on that pocket. And here we've got a little booklet, um, which just closes like that. And when you open it, it pulls down for more journaling space. So, so you probably can't see the full length of that, but it folds out three times. And then down the bottom part, I'll see if I can just show you that. Down the bottom part, there's a little, a little um, tuck spot. And yeah, if I just show you that again, that just folds right down. I think they're, they're cute, I like those. And that just uh, flips behind there. And there's um, just a handmade card um, at the back with a bit of lace. So lots of pretty papers, but as I say, just generic ones. And a doily that I kind of stenciled on. And up the top here I've got uh, an envelope and I've just put some fibre trim on the paper clip to make it a little bit pretty. And there's a few extras in here for whoever buys this journal. They'll get a few little tickets and tags and so forth. And um, there's a few little word sayings in there such as take the risk or lose the chance. And there's some more of the little um, butterfly cards and yeah a few bits and pieces. So that's just so that the person who buys the journal can just you know add their own special little touches with that or not as they please. So I'm not quite sure how I had that now, but that will do nicely. Um, yeah, so this one will be in my Etsy store eventually, as will they all. But uh, yeah, I think it's I think it's quite pretty in its own little way. And another one of the window face envelopes turned into a multi-level pocket with a tuck behind and the card inside and the tuck behind as well. And there I've just let, left um, Kate Greenaway's Language of Flowers page be the centre. So you get this, the full of this cute little picture of a little little girl there doing some gardening. So pretty cute. And here's another one I've just used a couple of um, squares with the, with the corners um, cut off just to make a um, double pocket on that page. And I quite like the way they look too. Just a little tag and a little... Um, pocket that from a different collections they're, they're all of them different different collections every single one comes from somewhere else just always print up more than what you really need and here's another one of those accordion letter cards so nothing on that just a little bit extra journaling space and it just goes under that fabric altered paper clip and on the other side I've got a little card there there's that door there again and this is just a card panel of course made a nice little pocket and there's quite a bit of stuff in that so I might move one of those to where I took the tag from. That could just be a little bit of pretty writing paper. Very coffee dyed that one. So I just love the different colour laces on the edges. And also love all the daggy stuff hanging up the top. Not everybody does, but I like my tags, all the ribbons and laces and things to be, you know, extending out off the paper. Here's a little flip up there, so a bit of extra writing space underneath if you want, and a couple and a tag and a uh, a tag and a card there. And into the last one. Now this is um, a flip up, and when you flip it up, you've got another one of those pull downs, so you've got some extra journaling uh, place under there. And up the top, there's a little tuck and um, just a card and a tag in there. A few different bits of paper. Here's um. A paper bag that I actually stenciled with the same pattern as the doilies and there's a card in there from one of my own collections. Blue butterflies I think. Just trying to work out what I did here, sorry I've forgotten. Um, yeah, so there is a tuck spot at the front and there's nothing in it, but I will put something from, from the collection, the extras that are going in this. There's uh, one of the little um, file folder things in there and something at the back, which is also for my blue butterflies. And so that's just decorations, little pocket there. So, you know, I could say that um, one of these other pockets might have had ample and I'll move something there. So may not be something extra, but it'll be something that I've already shown you that'll be moved to there, so there's something in that one as well. And I haven't done anything with the strings, 
This one would be nice. They could be tied in a bow or they could have hearts on a string in blue, but I haven't done anything with it yet. But however, if whoever uh, buys it wants something done, I certainly can help out with that. So, and there's a little lace pocket there and uh, just a postcard with a couple of things in the back there. Music paper and another one of the bingo card um, multi-pocket um, arrangements with another file folder thingy in the back and a few tickets and bits and pieces all in blue and uh, another little pocket I just made with some book page and a panel of paper and uh, a bit of a couple of things tucked in the back there and on the very back I've also added one of those little multi-level pockets and so you know you've got space to put lots of things in here if you want to and so it kind of can be quite full and chunky but I just like the um, this little this little um, buzzing baggy um, insert to just be tucked in the very front of it because I think that looks pretty cute so yeah so that's it that's um, that's the blue I'm not quite sure what I call it maybe blue dream um, uh, but anyway, it's uh, going to be in my Etsy store eventually, but for now, um, I'm still just trying to get them all videoed and get that side of it done. So thank you so much for looking. Goodbye.